Can we please have some more light? So I know you are all tired after two days, very intense speeches and discussions, but allow me after 11 years uh, being with you at conferences in 16 different cities, allow me some words of thankfulness. And uh, I would like to start with Paolo Barata. Um, we are so thankful that you invited us as a special project to the Venice Biennale. And I must really say, after these 16 conferences, this was a highlight. I cannot remember having a nicer venue, a better place, and, and really a wonderful discussion. Thank you very much for inviting us. I also would like to thank Alejandro Aravena for giving us the framework of our discussion, this wonderful exhibition, um, the reportings from the front, which is also, in a way, my passion, uh, and I also believe in the co-designing and co-working in the cities. And I would also like to thank Juan Clos, who gi will give us the possibility to contribute to this very important Habitat 3 conference. And I'm, I'm convinced that Ricky and Philip um, will provide as much as help as they can. Yeah, Ricky, Philip, our last conference. <laughs> but I guess if you once belong to the Urban Age family, you belong to the family. You cannot leave a family. That's what Jagan Shah told me yesterday evening. And um, I'm quite convinced we will meet again, uh, probably in two years time, somewhere in Africa. I can, I think I can tell this already, uh, the next focus will be on urban Africa for the next two years. I would also like to thank Deutsche Bank. I know that they have done many things wrongly, but they did one thing right. They have invested in the urban age. Um, they have invested and trust Ricky, Philip and the Alfred Herrhausen Gesellschaft. Um, and I'm really thankful for that. I would like to thank Thomas Matusek, our director of the Alfred Herrhausen Gesellschaft, for, um, yeah, for letting, letting me do Urban Age, because Urban Age is my baby in a way. Um, and it's, uh, it was a good partition of work, I think, so that I could continue with Urban Age. But now I would like to draw some light behind the curtain, and I would like to mention some of the ladies who helped us setting up this wonderful conference. And I would like to start with Manuela Luca Dazio. Um, thank you very much. We had very intense talks, but everything went so smoothly and so productive. Uh, and it was a great pleasure working with you. Thank you so much. I would also like to thank Christiana Constanzo, who helped us with communications, and this is also important. We can do everything right, but when nobody listens, thank you very much. I would like to thank Emily Cruz, only on behalf of... Yes, Emily. She had not only one sleepless night, I can tell you. There were several. And I would also like to thank my colleague, Anja. And um, I think most of all have met her. And she has also arranged everything so well. Like always, Anja, I must say. And I hope that once we can continue working together. Let me also thank Marcos Rosa, who is over there. He's, in a way, my partner in, in crime, and he pushed me to write down some of our ideas, which we have discovered uh, during the Deutsche Bank Urban Age Award, and then later on with the Urban Exchanger Project. And I was really grateful that Ricky invited some of the contributors of Urban Exchanger, Rosanna and Jonoero, to speak here at the conference. Thank you so much.
And last but not least, let me thank my family who let me go away for a long time, for many weeks, to travel with you, to be with you, um, and having a good time. Thank you, Robert and Lina. So that's it. Thank you all for coming. Have a good way back home. And I really hope to see you all in two years' time somewhere in Africa. Bye-bye.